Welcome back. Michael Sheen, Jared Leto and Icona Pop will be here soon. First, though, he was an idiot abroad, but in his new show, he might just have discovered the meaning of life. Give it up for Carl Pilkington! <laughs> Bowling. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you could bloody dress up. No, honestly, this, this makes me nervous dressing up. Why have you got bloody cargo pants on? These are my posh ones as well. <laughs> I'm not messing about. Right, let me get you a drink. Come on, let's, uh... Yeah. What do you want, my love? We've got a uh, Jeremiah weed, cider brew. Do you like aftershock? I've never had that. Oh, it's nice. It's like an aperitif. <laughs> Oh, special bro, just special bro. What are you having? I thought even Mariah Carey weren't this bloody fussy. Honestly, just, just give me something. I don't normally. I don't. I don't. I don't really. Uh, just, just give me anything. Special, honestly, have a special bro. Do you want a glass or just out the tin? I'll have it in a glass. Okay. I get spots when I drink out of cans. <laughs> Here, we've got to talk about your new show. Yeah, go on. <laughs> And it's you, basically, trying to find the meaning of life, isn't it? I mean, it's a job. <laughs> well, so, no, because I don't want to pretend, you know what I mean? It's not like one of them things where it's like, yeah, I'm on a journey and all that. You hear people say that on the telly and it sort of yeah. annoys me. It's because, no, you did it because the money was right. Yeah. <laughs> but the money was right. But <laughs> I'm kind of... I'm, I'm interested in life. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? We're no, all involved no, in it. Yeah. So, um... Is it because you've turned 40 recently? <sighs> now, are you having, like, a midlife crisis? No, I've always been old. <laughs> I've, honest to God, I've always... My mum always said I was an old baby. <laughs> How old are you? Well, I'm 27. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Tough paper round. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not eight. No, I'm... No, I am, I am 37, but I've got one of those faces and looks that when I go 37, people are like, yeah, I've right, got yeah, 42, 43. No, I'd I have thought, I'd have thought 41. I thought you were older than me. Fuck off. <laughs> that is so rude. But a good, a good 41. But good, there's nothing good about being the wrong side of 40. <laughs> you honestly think you look younger? Honestly. Honestly? <laughs> If, if, it was a, if it was a competition and someone said, win 200 grand, guess this man's age, yeah. I would not have said below 40. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I don't, OK, I... that's fine. I'll just... Uh... <laughs> I guess I'll just pick up the pieces and carry on with my life. <laughs> um... <laughs> the series started last week and mm. it uh, concentrated on marriage. Like me, you don't really believe in it either, do you? I don't know what it's all about now. No. Um... What about your wife? <laughs> no, I've been with well, her. Your girlfriend, you don't want to know how you like yeah. it with her, yeah. She's, <laughs> got um, a or something. She's not asked. I've been, I've been with her for 20 years and yeah. everything's good. Do you know what I mean? So what's the point? But women say that, don't they? All women want to... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> They want a ring on the finger. That's why they go looking for it in desserts, don't they, and stuff, when they're like... <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't... I wouldn't... I, I mean, if it's all about the ring and that, and then the, the dress, you know, I don't... She wouldn't look right in it. There's more chance. <laughs> it's all the faff of it, that's all. If you love someone, I think that's great, right? But it's this thing, this big day, the faff. You know, um, the no. money involved. Yeah. It's not only marriage, you're doing an episode on death. It's amazing, that one. Yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. This is the thing with this programme. People always go, it's a joke, he's not taking it serious and all that. But every time, everything I'm saying, I believe in, whether, you know, I'm right or wrong or whatever. Yeah. And with death, you know, that isn't, that isn't comedy. There's a, there's a woman dead in a corner. <laughs> Where have you got these from? Let's see. 
<laughs> we get Jeremy Kyle's cast offs. I mean, the family might watch this on YouTube. Where's the family? Ghana. Ghana? Ghana. <laughs> I'm big in Ghana. I am. Yeah. Well, listen, though, so they've been, she'd been dead for, um, been dead for about two and a half months. It was just a shock. I'd, I've never been to a funeral. No. Um, and it was my job to sort of do her up, put makeup on her and all that. And um, once she's done up, the sticker in the corner of the room. Family and friends and that come in to sort of pay the final respects and all that to her. And she, it was this woman who worked on a market. So that's what she did when she was alive. So they yeah. stuck her in front of a table <laughs> with uh, all a clobber on, big thing on her head and all that. Mm. And she was uh, she's sort of there with a fruit and veg. <laughs> <laughs> like the staff in Tesco. Yeah. The most of the <laughs> But, no, she and you go in with money mm. and stick money in her hand, and that's sort of this sort of. Oh, so like she's still alive and working on a stall. <laughs> I mean, it's really nice when you think about how we do it, and it's all morbid, and we don't like talking about yeah. it. And how do we handle it there? People there taking photographs. Oh, um, I don't know about that. I'm telling you, they've got it so right. If this was in Ghana, I could have died, and they'd still put me in this seat, <laughs> and I'd still have guests coming on chatting to me. <laughs> Enough, yeah. There you go. On Sunday's show, I can't wait to see this. You're, you're exploring happiness and how people find happiness, and you actually have some plastic surgery done, don't you? Because some people try to find happiness by changing their face. A and lot their of people. Looks. It's in LA yeah. where they all do that, don't they? Yeah. Everyone's sort of having work done. And uh, yeah, I met this bloke called uh, Justin. Yeah. He's had loads of work done. Everything is just had, it's all bits stuck everywhere. I mean, it's Look, that, that's him there. On the left. <laughs> uh, How old is he? How old is he? I think he's about 76. <laughs> <or>? <laughs> no, he's not, he's, he's, he's young. Yeah. I can't remember. I think he's like in his early 20s. But he's had like, you know, they're all implants. He's had put in his triceps done, uh, nose, lips. My God. Ass. Arse done, how can you have your arse He had arse sort of, um, sort of... <laughs> ...pumped yeah, out yeah. a little bit. We've actually got a clip. This is a clip of Sandy's show. Uh, this is Carl on his way to the Botox clinic in the moaning of life. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that she does something called ball ironing or something like this. So this is like a resurfacing of your scrotum. There's a call for that. If you're worrying about the wrinkles on your bollocks, I'd say your life's pretty good. <laughs> I have an ironing board at home. You know that? I haven't got an iron or an ironing board at home. Who's worrying about that? Well, I mean, I guess you figure people do anal bleaching. Anal like that, bleaching? So. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of that. Me arse, I don't know what colour it is. I don't know if it needs bleaching. <laughs> do you know, if you had five photos of anuses, I could not point mine out. <laughs> No, I don't know. I haven't seen my anus in ages. <laughs> I've never... It's never been in my mind that I'm worrying. No. How's that looking? No. <laughs> you like to moan and you'd say you have a right to moan and everything. But how can I turn that frown upside down? What makes you happy? Surely something makes you smile. The other day, I'll tell you what I was doing the other day. Yeah. Cleaning my cups. <laughs> Do you know, because they're stained, don't they, with tea? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can get this stuff called Milton. It's like, a, it's like a bleach that isn't as strong as Domestos. And I, I was in the kitchen for about 45 minutes. <laughs> but honestly, that for me, it's those little things where I'm away on my own, I'm in the kitchen, Suzanne's happy watching Vera, yeah. I'm just cleaning the cups and you pour it from yeah. one to another. 45 minutes. <laughs> now, you're looking at me, honestly, I know that you're going, what the fuck? Have you ever done it? Yeah. I've never done it. What simple things do you do that you go, this is all right, this is sort of what life's all about? You, you must have something in your life that you go, I look forward to this. Painting a skirting board. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what do you do then? What do you do to happiness? I don't know. Right then. You don't know what you're doing, you're floating about in showbiz land. <laughs> so at least I'm not bleaching cups. <laughs> well, I pity your cups. Okay, you okay, I'll tell you what I do that you'll find boring. Go on. Find your, I watch Tipping Point. 
with Ben Shepherd. You see, no, shouldn't share that. You see, I don't really like the telly going on before about seven. Because it's all shit before that. <laughs> and why, why is Ben Shepherd coming round watching the telly with you? No, he pay out tipping points. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Good luck with the series. It's absolutely brilliant. Carl Pilkinson, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. After the break, Michael Sheen, Jared Leto, and Icona.